Journalists Hangout UK, where the week's top news stories are carefully discussed and dissected by our panel of broadcasters and experts. She's been trending on social media due to her book launch and those incredible magazine photo covers. But she's much more than just beautiful images. She's a woman of substance and a role model for women all around the world. The, a UK at the head of Europe is a lot stronger than a UK at the feet of Donald Trump. The theatre that he worked for was for ethnic minorities. It, it wasn't as though he took the ground into a white... Oh, no, th and that's fine. Okay. But you are not an ethnic minority theatre director, my friend. So why have you got this grant? He should have been honest and said, I'm actually not. It's not about you identifying as. Like, I can identify as a cactus right now, but I'm not one. The countdown to the presidential elections in 2019 is underway and this one is shaping up to be a bruising battle between some of the heavyweights in Nigerian politics. Join us every week until you cast your vote next February and we promise to keep you informed on the ever-changing political landscape. There are tough choices for you to make in 2019, so we'll try to help you decide on Nigeria Decides. Welcome to The Business. Hello, I'm Ted Kofi, and in this show, we break down business and its impact on Africa and Africans. From the Horn of Africa all the way to South Africa, exactly. we're talking similar issues. And, and really, we're talking about different philosophical approaches to how you distribute wealth. Capitalism ah. is very much about grow or die, and it seems to be at any price, including human well-being. Well, I think as a starting point in Sub-Saharan Africa, we're only going to be successful if Africans work with Africans. Business affects every one of us, whoever we are, wherever we are. Welcome to One to One, a hard-hitting interview show that is definitely not for the faint-hearted. What can Nigerian government or what can people like you put in place to prevent our women, our ladies, or our girls well, living in Nigeria? Because that is the key, that is the uh, uh, departing point where they just want to leave the country. What, what, what do you think can be done to prevent that? You had agreed, and yes. then um, the vote didn't go your way. Yes. And you changed your mind yes. and continued to run. Well, How can we trust you? How yes. can Nigerians trust you? You should trust me precisely because I changed my mind. And let me tell you please, why I changed please my do mind. That. Why should they suffer for our pleasure? then I think I've got a stronger case to get much more than 20,000. So you think 20 a, few, a few photos and a, and a picture in the Daily Mirror of you with your hands around some sort of uh, <laughs> crying children is the way to tug at a heart strip. No, I'm being, I'm being yeah, no, serious. No, that no, does I mean, sound um, I, I incredibly so. calculated. We have a voice. That wasn't asked in the question. I think this is where, uh, where this is exciting. One to one. If you're looking for an easy ride, you've come to the wrong place. Join me, Juliana Olayinka, and my fabulous guests for Nolly Chat. I think it's important that when you have a woman that is achieving, people need to see, people need to know. Are you in love at the moment? Of course, definitely. Oh, wow. Oh, that's an exclusive. In terms of race and equality, that's my core passion. That's the only reason why I even got involved in politics is because I'm passionate about race equality. I am wearing a wig. I know you all thought it was my hair. Everyone's just shocked. <laughs> it's fine. I like to wind my daughter's father up and call him baby father. <laughs> every weekday on Yanga. See you then. Hello and welcome to Green Screen Great. I'm your host, Simon London. This is the show where we invite four of the UK's leading comics and challenge them to perform under pressure by putting them in surreal situations and demanding that they make us laugh. Just like this. Two comedians will be eliminated at the end of the round one, and the others will go through to a head-to-head. -head. The winner being crowned this week's Green Screen Great. <laughs> Yanga Star Boy, they do Yanga. <laughs> hey man, Star Boy, they are man. You're watching Yanga TV. Stay, stay locked. On turn up, we bring you the best of British athletes. Parties, the music, the vibes, the new dances. Whoa. We have exclusive interviews with the UK's <laughs> top Afrobeat artists. Take a look at social media's African and British talent. Woman Crush Wednesday, old tight, bad girl Riri. Yeah. Really? And cover some of Nigeria's best gigs and festivals. See you lot next time for another episode of Turn Up. Peace out, Turn Up. Want to learn and have fun? Of course you do. 
Finzi is Yanga's first stop for kids who want to watch nursery rhymes and cartoons, as well as learn about animals, big and small, in and around Africa. So come on kids, what are you waiting for? Wagwan, it's me, Mansour Bello. This is number six. Women, mm -mm. you ever seen him on toilet paper? Take toilet paper, act like he can go buy some more. <laughs> Both hands. One girl wrapped it up. Even my cat looked at it. <laughs> I'm Mark Edo. And this is our fabulous new studio in the heart of London. You, know, you just need to walk the streets of Lagos and see people doing creative things all the time. We've always had this creative energy. It's always been an happening. It's always been. Despite the chaos. Despite the chaos, and maybe maybe because, because of, of the, the chaos. chaos. Yeah.